Okay, so the recording started. So hello everybody. Today we have March the 4th and we are at our Jenkins Governance Board meeting. So uh, today I would like to show you the agenda. Um, we have yeah, the same procedure as every time. We have the upcoming calendar where we show some yeah, news what we have in the next few weeks. Then uh, we have some news in our project. Then we have some action items we will discuss. And we have at the latest points our community activity and some governance topics. Does someone have some additional topics we should add here? So, yeah. If not, or if later we can, yeah simply add them after these topics we are talking about. Okay, so let's start uh, with the upcoming calendar. Next weekly release is 2448. This is tomorrow. And yeah, I'm not sure what it's in it. So I'm not in the core team anymore. So does someone know if we have some interesting things in it? Or it's just usual UI improvements and things like that. I don't know. Okay. Then the next LTS release is coming as well. It will be released in two weeks. It is uh, the 2.442. In we will release this release on March 20th. I'm not sure how the testing is going, but yeah, I think the release candidate is prepared as far as I know. And yeah, a lot of people are testing it, but I'm not sure as I'm not part of the testing team here. Do you know something more, uh, Alex? Um, oh, Chris, Stern is the, Chris Stern is the, uh, the release oh. lead for the upcoming LTS for the point two. And I think He's, he um, created the um, LTS issue a couple of hours ago, so the yeah. release candidate will be available on Wednesday as usual. Okay. And the final release in a couple of weeks, as you said, mm -hmm. Wednesday as usual. Okay. I'm preparing to release a bunch of mailer, uh, Jakarta mail API updates. So you could you can expect to see um you can expect to see some small um breaking changes in that they all need to be updated at the same time the jakarta mail plugin as well as the jakarta activation plugin so i'm i'm testing everything right now but i plan to uh release them all at the same time and also update all of the consumers at the same time which are um, the mailer, email extension, uh, workflow basic steps, and Maven plugins. So nothing okay. really too interesting, but um, they, these upgrades just all need to happen at the same time. Okay. And these uh, changes are then uh, um, yeah, documented in our upgrade guide, I think. Or... Well, I'm going to... I'm going to write in the release notes for the plugins oh, okay. that you should upgrade, you know, the, uh, the mail plugin at the same time as the activation plugin. Um, and when we, when we pull them into the bill of materials, we'll, we'll upgrade them in lockstep over there. Um, I think that's really the most that we can do um, because we don't have any other way of locking plugin versions together. Any additional comments for the next LTS release? Good. Then we have the next major events. Um, I think we already talked about them uh, in the last meeting. They, they are not new now. So we have the Southern California Linux Expo. I think uh, Mark already wrote this uh, topic that Alyssa, Mark, and you are Basil, you are planning to attend. Is this correct still? Or is this still yeah. correct? Yeah, we'll have a booth as usual this year. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, I think from yeah the <laughs> Europe side, nobody will join. It's so, yeah, I don't have time, and yeah, I think most of the others don't have time as well. The next event is again in the U.S. It's at the CDCon. It's in April sixteenth until April April eighteen, and yeah, currently only Mark is uh, planning to attend. We'll see if others will join as well. So for me, it's also not possible. It's mid in the middle of our semester. So yeah, we'll see. So do we have any additional upcoming events? Okay. Good. Then let's go to the next agenda topic. It's the news topic. So I tried to look yeah, for the last two weeks what happened in the art project. So the first important thing is uh, we are now part of Jenkins uh, of Google Summer of Code uh, 2024. So yeah, Alisa already write, wrote a blog post and we are already part of this uh, yeah, event again. I have seen a lot of traffic in the mailing lists and in the community channels. So uh, a lot of people are trying to you know, prepare their proposals and a lot of your mentors are helping to you know, review these proposals and help the you know, participants. So there is a lot of things to come. Um, I don't know the deadline, so um, I'm not sure when the proposals need to be done. I think it's before the end of March. End of I'm March. Mistaken. Yeah. Okay. So proposals. March, okay. Uh, okay, the next uh, news I found uh, was that the nominations for the Jenkins Awards are now available. Uh, yeah, these awards recognize some contributions from individuals in the Jenkins project and in the yeah, uh, advocating of the Jenkins project. So we have three different categories, the most valuable advocate, the most valuable contributor, and the and Seth Jenkins security MVP. So we have, yeah, I've uh, written down the uh, candidates. So we have four candidates for the advocate position, four candidates for the contributor, and two, uh, sorry, not four, six, and uh, two candidates for the security MVP awards. So the voting is possible. Uh, I think for another two weeks, um, Alyssa prepared a Google spreadsheet where we or a Google Forms where everybody can prepare a vote and send it to the voting team. Yeah, are there here any additional comments? So the voting is quite simple. It's just a simple document where you have for all these three categories, you have the names who are yeah, candidates and you need to vote them. And yeah, I th think you need, need to choose one of these three topics. And finally, we are counting these numbers and yeah, presenting the results. Um, yeah, I haven't written the date here, but I think it will be done in CDCon where we present the results. I think it's really great to recognize these security researchers who have been submitting great uh, mm -hmm. security um, related reports to uh, the the Jenkins security team. I think that that's something I haven't seen in previous years. So I think that's really great. Yeah. Even if, uh, if these people are really unknown to the community yet, so it's really nice to see them more uh, represented in the project. Yeah. The other people I see is all the usual suspects, 
who are running the Jenkins project for the latest few years. Okay, so these were the news I found in the last uh, two weeks. Uh, has anybody additional news we should share? Okay, then we can go to the next topic. It's the action items. So we had from the last uh, action item, uh, Basil, you created a uh, attribution downloads page uh, pull request. Uh, and I've seen the pull request is ready to review. So the thing- No, it's not ready yet. I'm, I'm still working on this. Um, <clears throat> okay. I'm, I'm still the same as last time status wise, which is getting the uh, uh, sifting through all of these emails to come up with the current set of numbers okay. for each sponsor and sorting them by uh, by the amount of sponsorship so that we can decide how how much to visually represent them on this page. Yeah. Okay. So I I think you need to um, ping us when we should. Uh, review these documents because currently I think I get a, a notification in GitHub that I should review it now, but uh, maybe yeah, I should wait a little bit more. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think that's just because of the uh, file name. Um, it adds okay. the board uh, to the list of reviewers, but uh, the PR is still in draft, so you, so it'll be ready for review once I move it out of draft state. Okay. Right, it's almost ready <laughs> for you. So okay, okay. Then the next uh, action item is uh, the Chinese uh, Jenkins site. I think um, Mark wants to work some Kubernetes things into it. So I'm not sure if what the state is here. Um, yeah. So uh, it's the same um, status as before. Uh, for everyone else, it's um, Mark has been unavailable for a little bit, uh, just between work commitments and other things. So he hasn't gotten to do his setup. Um, Damien's been away for the last week, and I'm going uh, to be unavailable for the next two weeks after this. So uh, probably no further status till uh, April on that. Okay. Good. So the action items are finished as well. Then what's next? We have the community activity. And here uh, we have from the Contributor Summit a uh, blog post from you, Kevin. So this is a nice uh, yeah, review of our meeting there. And I think everything is, yeah, we have photos, uh, slides, and a lot of links and a lot of information for all those who didn't join us in this event. Um, yeah, what we also have as community activity is the Google Summer of Code preparation. I already mentioned that. So while I'm also, yeah, I'm quite active at the channels and helping people, and I've seen a lot of people are preparing pull requests, asking questions. So it is, yeah, as last year, really a lot of people who try to persist uh, to help with uh, proposals, etc. I'm not sure how many people try to help, but I'm not sure if someone knows a little bit more details. How many proposals do we have? And yeah, how many people yeah do a proposal? Do you know something more? Uh, I think that last year we had 54 proposals and for this year, I don't know, maybe five or six for the time being, but uh, some more will show up in the coming days. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think this will be a lot of work to review them <laughs> then finally. Yes, uh, fortunately last year of the 54 something, some of them were uh, just a few lines. Uh, okay. So these ones were quick to assess. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Anything else I can add here for the community activity? 
Uh, so this week, we're going to be publishing the next contributor spotlight uh, for mm -hmm. Stefan Speaker. Okay. So, um... No, is it F or PH? I don't know. That's the F, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So then I think we are almost at the end of the meeting. So I have some uh, governance, governance topics. Um, Mark has written the topics here, but uh, he did not write the details so i don't have access to the yeah february expenses i don't know if someone of you have the access or i don't know what our expenses were last month so i if nobody of you knows it i think we can drop these two topics until someone is here who knows a little bit more no, I guess we will know a little bit more tomorrow uh, during the infra team meeting, but it will be too late. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, maybe um, when I post the a governance uh, agenda or the results of the meeting, uh, we can have an additional note where you can post the details there. Yeah. Maybe this is an idea. Yep. Okay, so I think we have all topics from the agenda. Do we have some additional comments from you? Okay, that means we are meeting in yeah, two weeks again. I can't be at the meeting in two weeks, but I hope Mark is back again. And one note for the meeting in one month uh, or in two months um, yeah in, in four weeks we have an easter break i think so we need to cancel this week this meeting and for all meetings that are coming after the easter weekend we need to change the time again because the time so uh, the summer time is coming so just <laughs> to make this note we need to change these for the April meetings then. Okay, then I drop the sharing and I stop the, where do I stop? Okay, here is this button. <laughs>